All right, hello everyone. My name is Trevor. I go by the Mr. Trails. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we've got some Alira weapon unique effect builds for you in Dauntless. If I'm going to be completely honest, I am going to make sure this video is as fast to edit as possible. So let's just jump right into it. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Head over to the Twitch as well. I'm going to be doing an uncapped subathon as soon as the Radiant Escalation patch goes live. We are going to bask in this amazing Radiant Escalation patch. So let's just go ahead and cover a few builds for these weapons, and then we will talk about whether or not they are worth using. Before we get into the builds real quick, I do want to mention that the devs have said that the 750 and 1000 base damage on the unique effect is the intended damage numbers. It's just the descriptions did not get updated to reflect those numbers. This one right here is going to be usable by every weapon except for axe. So first up here, we've got a pretty standard non-catalyst build. We are going to be rocking the Chronovore weapon with the Pulse and Overpower inside and with the Alira Bond. We are looking at damaging builds right now, so we are going to be saying Revenant or Discipline as the Omni Cell. And use your choice of Lantern with Molten. And then for the armor, we have this Shroud Helmet with a Berserker inside. We have the Time Weave Robes with Berserker inside. We have the Malkarian Gloves with Predator inside. And we have the Savit Boots with Cunning inside. The perk summary here ends up being 6 Berserker, 6 Cunning, 6 Overpower, 6 Predator, 3 Etheric Attunement, 3 Assassin's Frenzy, 3 Molten, and 3 Pulse. Then there's a version of this build with Adrenaline instead of Berserker for the Axe players out there. And we basically just swap to the Scrave Jacket and switch where the Overpower is. Is. Rocking the Chronovore Axe with Overpower Pulse inside with the Allure Weapon Bond. We've got Revenant or Discipline as the Omni Cell and your choice of Lantern with Molten. And for the armors, we have the Shroud Helmet with Overpower inside, the Scrave Jacket with Adrenaline inside, the Malkarian Gloves with Predator inside, and the Savit Boots with Cunning inside. And with this, our perk summary is 6 Adrenaline, 6 Cunning, 6 Overpower, 6 Predator, 3 Etheric Attunement, 3 Assassin's Frenzy, 3 Molten, and 3 Pulse. And then for our Catalyst builds, we'll have one version where you're using it on X, and then the other version where you can use it on anything else. For the X, we'll rock the Chronovore X with Catalyst and Overpower inside with the Alira Bond. Revenant or Discipline as the Omni Cell, and your choice of Lantern with Catalyst inside. And for the armor, we have the Shroud Helmet with Overpower inside, the Scrave Jacket with Adrenaline inside, we have the Malkarian Gloves with Predator inside, and the Thrax Boots with Pulse inside. Aether Drive is pretty much a must-have tonic on the Illyria Unique Effect, so we must be running the Aether Drive Frenzy and Blitz Tonics. And this perk summary is 6 Adrenaline, 6 Catalyst, 6 Cunning, 6 Overpower, 6 Predator, 3 Etheric Attunement, and 3 Pulse. And for all the other weapons here, we are going to be running the Chronovore Weapon with Catalyst Berserker inside and the Alira Bond. Revenant or Discipline is the Omni Cell, your choice of Lantern with Catalyst inside. And the armor is going to be the Shroud Helmet with Berserker inside, the Time Weave with Overpower inside, the Malkarian with Predator inside, and the Thrax Boots with Pulse inside. Again, Aether Drive Tonic is mandatory here than a Frenzy and Blitz Tonic, and it's the same as the Axe except for 6 Berserker. So the question you're going to be asking, is the Alira Bond going to be worth enough to grind out these weapons right away? And the answer is yes, but actually no, maybe, sort of. When it comes to the non-catalyst builds, you are probably not going to want to run the Alira Weapon Bond, as with 1000 being its base damage tied to the Lantern Hold, which would be every 25 seconds thanks to this Etheric Attunement here, no matter what HP value you have, Valamir Unique Effect is going to be better than the Alira Unique Effect here. But when you are running Aether Drive Tonic with Catalyst, the Alira Unique Effect does pull ahead of the Valamir Unique Effect considerably. That is unless you are running Toph 6, in which case the Valamir Unique Effect barely beats the Alira Unique Effect. So if you are not too comfortable with running Tonics in casual play, then you are probably not going to want to run the Alira Unique Effect. However, if you do use Tonics all the time, then the Alira Unique Effect is going to be the best of the Radiant Bunch for you. It is worth mentioning that you can actually use the Rail Splitter Canteen mod on Axe to make the Alira Weapon Unique Effect even better, so it would actually surpass the Valamir Unique Effect on Axe. It is difficult to compare directly the Alira and Valamir Unique Effects to Rezakiri. However, the likelihood is most of the time the Alira Unique Effect, when using the Aether Drive Tonic, will be better than the Rezakiri Unique Effect. There might be a couple of instances where you're at capped attack speed on a particular weapon that will make the Rezakiri better, but the Alira Unique Effect is going to be better most of the time. Again, this is only for builds that are going to be using Catalyst and Aether Drive Tonics. If you don't plan on using those, then you will want to stick to Velomir for your Radiant Weapons. It is also pretty difficult to use. Think of it as the Ember Main Lantern. We usually don't use the Ember Main Lantern because it takes too long to actually go off. 
there is going to be a bit of a delay between when you actually use your lantern hold and the damage happens. And for that reason, it is going to be a difficult weapon unique effect to actually take advantage of. You can do a big brain play like I did here and actually activate it before you are intending to put the behemoth in that spot, but there are going to be some times where you're just not going to be successful with getting the unique effect to work. Real quick before I leave you, if you want to head to the Mr. Trails dot store, you can use code RESCA5 right now to get $5 off all the t-shirts in the store. We have 14 t-shirt designs, so you'll probably find one that you like, and it'll be $5 off until June 2nd. Once again, use code RESCA5 to get $5 off the t-shirts. But enjoy the hunting. That is going to do it for me, guys. I have been Trevor. I go by the Mr. Trails, and I will catch you guys next time.